Mate, we are live. We are live. We're on. Uh, and hopefully, I've done a little audio check, but I'm not too sure if my audio check actually works. But I'll tell you what, who was first? Justin Hess again, day six. Mate, we even had Laura. We had Laura chiming in, trying to press the refresh button as well. You know, and she even. Laura, just ah. got, this is the gum racker internets yeah. that are getting in the way. We're going to give you some competition, Justin. We don't feel it's fair. Uh, Scotty Carter, Kerry Carter, great to have you guys on. Christina, uh, happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday for everyone. TGIF. TGIF. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it has been such a, it's been such a week. Um, guys, thank you so much uh, for chiming in again. It is uh, episode 43. That means day 43 of uh, the newly branded wine for the people. Uh, tonight we have uh, a, a very special guest that I'd really like to introduce you to. Um, one of my, my really good friends, um, acquaintances, um, and we're gonna do something a little bit different tonight because 43 days of wine is fantastic and we do have plenty of wine for tonight, but um, this is Wes Heddles, uh, and he's one of the founders and providers of Prohibition uh, Liquor Co, uh, an amazing, amazing gin company. And have you heard of it? That's what I want to know. Have you guys heard of uh, Prohibition? And what are you drinking at home? That is the, yeah. the two questions that you absolutely need to answer. Wine, if you are beer, gin, well, yeah, whatever anything, it is. Anything, anything. Metho, Negronis. Don't drink Metho, just disclaimer. I'm like, yeah, don't, don't do that. But um, <laughs> drink Trump, Prohibition Trump. instead. <laughs> That's it. Um, mate, thank you so much for, for, for coming and giving up your Friday uh, thank you for uh, as well. Yeah. How has your week been? Week's been interesting like everybody else's. Um, I guess we got the ability where we can still go to work and have those day-to-day -day things to keep some normality, yep. um, which is really, I think, important at this time. Um, but certainly I know and feel for those that have been forced to work from home and have yeah. those kids running around. So I think the relief of school going back this week for a lot of parents is yeah. cheering. I know we were, so. Wait, so your kids are in school now? Yeah, Harvey's five. He's been five years, my friend. Now, I remember when it was like that. Yeah, yeah. That's incredible. It is. So you just, wait, wait, you wanted to get rid of Harvey that bad. <laughs> uh, so, my wife is, my wife is. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's like, hey, here's the bus, let me throw you under it. Um, no, the, um, but have you seen the memes that have come out, like the little like videos that parents have done pretending, like, like there was a mum that actually did like a full instructional video, which oh. is a complete piss take. Yeah. That was literally about teaching her teenage son how to put um, like just a dish into the dishwasher. Yeah. <laughs> it uh, went for think, like think, 10 minutes. I think the life skills that people have learnt over the last four weeks is going to be incredible. So, whilst the kids haven't been learning at school, they've been on school holidays and, and have learnt a lot of life lessons with their parents. One, how to pour, <laughs> pour cocktails has been the big one at home. <laughs> Five year old Harvey's pouring cocktails. <laughs> Uh, Zachary Phillips, fuck, how was I not first? I don't know, man. I don't know how Laura was first, and she's right here. I even gave her a heads up. Pressing the live button now. And Justin was still in quicker than everyone else. That is a, that is a seasoned veteran. Um, Yuka Frost Sound is okay. Thank you very much. First time here, Kelly Johnson. Welcome, Kelly. Uh, welcome to our, our lovely little community here. Um, hello, hello. Love the gin uh, from Supersonic Turtle 02 on Twitch. Um, go with that. We'll go with that. Uh, is it, is it Timo if I say that I plan on watching this in the bath? Ooh, we do. That is meta. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a bathtub. We actually gin. have a bathtub gin. Uh, bath, bathtub cut gin. Now tell us about sort of. Obviously, we're going to talk a little bit about prohibition. Yeah. Um, tell us about the range that we've got here because it's expanded. It has expanded. So I guess for those that don't know, kudos to Brendan, Laura, and the team up at Applewood. These guys and Unicozella, obviously, um, went out and my first uh, put prohibition together. Uh, we we approached. BC and, and talked about how do we how do we make gin and, and he helped us develop our original recipes so that's the uh, the original and the bathtub cut there um, and they produced our gin for contract for a little while and then yep. we uh, graduated eventually went out to the big wide world big, when big, you big. love something guys let it go yes just let it go um, um, so yeah. yeah so let us go and um, so we we've got a, 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 a I guess a range of five gins at the moment and six if you include the the premix cocktail and the grony yeah so premix and the grony cheeky yeah. love it uh, and so I guess the original brief was to make the most approachable drinkable um, gin you could do and and make a martini style gin that we could just enjoy and eat. Do you know how much it pissed me off that my own wife was like, I'll just have prohibition things. I'm like, we made an awesome gin ourselves. Like, yeah, no, but it's, it is it is probably even even today it, for like drinkability factor, so yep. smash it. Because what we do with Apple is obviously very heavily bent towards native ingredients. Yep. Um, but yeah, PLC is definitely like, there's just something about PLC. Yeah. Some, I think it's to do with the pepper. Something about peppercorns yeah, and those oranges. Pink, those pink pepper and the spice oh. with the oranges. Oh, yum. You gotta love it. <laughs> 
Um, and then I guess as we've expanded and offered our own thing on our own and, and having our tasting room down at Gilbert Street in the city, um, mm. needing to expand our range and evolve and try new things and you get creative when you've got a still, so you get the opportunity to play and... Have you, um, have you, I've been, I haven't actually asked you this before, but have you distilled like a bunch of random shit? Yes. Has, <laughs> has some stuff been like eye-opening and stuff just been like, mm, we'll never do that again? <laughs> Very much so. I guess the, 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 the biggest one that we found was crazy um, and was uh, our distiller and, and I working on a project for Singapore bar yep. Yep. Um, and, and playing around with some ingredients like crab. Um, oh no, have you, have you tried lobster gin? No. So someone's done this. Yeah, right. Someone's done this. And, and I want to know how you ended up because honestly there was a, uh, in Hong Kong there's um, uh, this un under the stairs sort of gin parlor thing in Hong Kong. It's uh, Dr. Ferns. Yes. Dr. Ferns. Yep. And they were like, well, I was like, what's the craziest, like amazing gin collection. I was like, what is the craziest gin? They're like, this gin. And I'm like, what is it? It's like, it's made from lobsters. <laughs> I'm like, this sounds terrible. I'm like, like, we don't drink it here. I'm like, why? It's like the, the top itself had gaff tape. Oh, no. Like, literally. Like, not from the producer. No. The bar decided to put it on. It stinking out the bar. Yeah. How to end up distilling? Uh, we did well. So, what we did, we didn't actually distill the crab, we distilled the maceration. So, yeah, 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 otherwise, yeah, yeah. the crab in there would have just destroyed everything. And I don't think we could have got crab out of the still. So, um, we thought we'd just do the maceration. It actually came out pretty tasty. <laughs> I like it. Oh wow! Oh wow! Are you gonna? Are, is it gonna be a product or is it? Uh, gonna, I think it's, it's, it's gonna be a Wes special. I think. So. <laughs> so it's, everything goes to Wes's household. That's it. That's yeah, it. That's right. That's it. So uh, what, what what have you distilled that's been obviously turned out? Because I mean, there's there's a really exciting thing. I haven't actually tried it yet. Um, and this is this is um, we swapped man, a bottle before. We did. We uh, did. This is um, give you a cheeky gander. This is uh, Prohibition's new um, Navy. Navy strength. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, is, it, is it proper navy strength? Proper it, navy, so 58%. Yeah, yeah. 58. Uh, 58. Nice. Um, so we went old, old world, we went new world. So obviously old world, just tear away, mate. Tear we away? Tear, we can both is it, tear is it, is it child proof? No, no, it's just... What do you, oh, you tear it from there. Right. I don't have it's any, Brendan proof. Yeah, I don't have so, any yeah. nails left uh, after an anxious Vintage. week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess we wanted to make something that was uh, a little bit sea breezy. Um, so you're going to find that it's... Oh, I love that. <laughs> Oh, how good's that? ASMR action for you guys. Absolutely. So we've got some, <laughs> some macrobiotic uh, sea salt in there from the Great Australian Bite. Um, salty gin. Salty gin. Obviously using a bit of salt bush. Oh, that's nice. Um, we, we love, I guess, um, our citrus notes. So we've used finger limes, desert limes, um, grapefruit and um, oranges as you'd imagine. Um, yep. And then macadamia nuts and, and things like that. Yes. Guys, you've got to try it. Yeah, yeah seriously. Um, try this for like oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to like, I was gonna say, do you want to grab that and give that to Paul as well? I was one, like, no, yes, no. One for everyone. Yeah, so I guess um, it was a true, thank you. Um, trying to be as, as, as navy as possible without being offensively salty. Um, but <laughs> uh, yeah, just having a bit of fun. And we, we love our overproof stuff, as you know, like we've got 69, 60% as a regular repertoire. So to actually lower our ABV down to, to 58, um, it still sits well within the, the, the means. It makes a beautiful gimlet, um, an army navy, um, or a, or even just a, a GNT. It's a straight up martini, I reckon that's, that's gonna be like super fun, like a really, delicious. it is delicious. Yeah. That's a sipping gin, and actually it's interesting that um, the strongest character that, that really sort of sticks out for me aside from juniper is is that salt bush. Yeah. And salt bush like distills salty like this. Mm. So it's almost like a green herbaceousness, but not, not botanically. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. It's super clean. So it's got heaps of juniper in it, and we've, I guess, having the ability to have juniper in different parts of the, the distillation um, has made it a little bit more fun as well. So mm -hmm. being able to put it into a, a, a gin basket uh, or a botanical basket later on. Um, but yeah, we're, we're super happy with this. Um, this is dangerous. <laughs> Just saying, I don't get completely written off on this. 58%. It's actually, 58%. 58%. Yeah. It's actually amazing. Like, that's the really, well, the really cool thing with Prohibition is that sort of like, uh, density that we can always, you know, it was the joy sort of uh, playing around with a bathtub cut. 69% um, that one. 69% was yeah. just try, trying to get, how do you get as much flavour into something as you possibly can lock in and that's the, the what higher ABV really affords you, yeah. is the ability to be able to keep more it looking oils. crystal clear and, and yeah, yeah, more oils in solution. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's utterly amazing. Um, Jumping straight to the comments, uh, Jason might drinking a, a lovely little applewood gin at the moment. Thank you. Lovely. Um, just had a cheeky little tipple of Carter's liqueur with milk. 
Um, I mean, if, you, if you're chucking a little bit of uh, vodka, we've got a white Russian there. Um, you know, or maybe it's like a, a, a white... Uh, I don't want to, we don't say white Australian, but white Russian. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> let's, let's not go there. <laughs> I have heard of Prohibition, Zach Phillips. Uh, I'm gonna pop uh, open a Lansdowne Sparkling Rosé. Seriously, if you got, get a chance, uh, Zachary, that's um, that seriously super yummy. Um, Terry, the Dungeon Master, Terry. Uh, lovely to see you here again. Um, Terry is, this is Terry's show, we like to say. Terry is Guy the, Terry. the dungeon, dungeon Master of the drinking game. Um, Archie Rose tried to distill a meat pie. I don't know how it went. <laughs> Well, I mean, did we see a, great, we did, we did. a great release of the meat pie spirit? I'm not too sure how. Uh, even though I do know Prohibition, I'm drinking a 2016 Rock of Wisdom. Uh, Matari, sick man. Um, that's that's Pete Hiscock. Um, oh, I he, love Hiscock. Yeah. So, no, seriously. No, seriously. <laughs> no, I love Hiscock. No, no, seriously. He's amazing. He have, you, have you met him before? Yeah, he made Is our gin for a while. Fucking serious? Yeah. Back yeah in the day. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Of course. yes. So I was like, I was like, did you employ? <laughs> no, no. So yeah, no. Pete, um, Pete's absolutely I fantastic. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I studied with him. Uh, mm, Negroni, what a great idea if you insist. I, I, I certainly do, definitely. Um, yum, love salty gins. Uh, it's become a bit of a thing, salty gins. We've been sort of gravitating towards salt as well. Salty, salty gin, I think, is a really, and it's not overtly salty. This is, this, I think, follows through with being like, yeah, you're like, yeah, cool, this is a navy. Yeah. Like, you know you're drinking a navy when you're drinking this. And you also get the whole sort of salt thing's fantastic. Yep. Um, went to Woolies this afternoon and one, was very disappointed that they didn't have nacho cheese shapes. And two, uh, that's because, mate, we are, we, maybe we have reached peak influencer, Christina. Maybe we reviewed it last night it's on Junk Food Wine. Like like and suddenly everyone's like, oh my God! On the wine for the people thing, they said to have nacho cheese shapes, and everyone went and cleaned out nacho cheese shapes. Maybe we're diagnosing something here. Uh, and this is Vegemite and cheese might be our new favourite. Now, the Vegemite and cheese thing, if you guys remember a couple of, it would have been about a week ago, last Saturday, yeah. Noah and I, uh, we decided to, to do a junk food wine pairing with the sausage sizzle. Huh? Classic sausage sizzle, yeah. bunning style sausage sizzle. Because we're all missing the bunning yeah, sausage yeah. sizzle. I also happened that same day to pick up the shapes. Sausage, sausage, shaped, sausage, sizzle. Uh, <laughs> the Negroni's kicked in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, and they tasted nothing like them. It was very disappointing. I would like to know if Vegemite and cheese tastes like the shapes taste like Vegemite and cheese. Because yeah. that would be, that's the penultimate. What we did realize is that uh, we do believe that, um, you know, we've had a bit of a debate at HQ here. Some people are into savory shapes. Yep. Some people into OG barbecue. I was a pizza man myself, but I'm pretty confident now we are all nacho cheese fans. Nacho yeah. cheese is the superior flavor of I will shapes. have to get onto the nacho cheese. It's also big shape as well. Oh. Give you a big shape. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I've been lucky enough to try the Navy strength. It's great, you're still a hue as a legend. Uh, Natalia Taylor, uh, hey. charming in. Thanks so much for, for charming in, Natalia. Love hey, to see Natalia. you. Uh, Archie Rose Vegemite though, yes. Distilled Vegemite. Legitimate thing. It's almost it's almost like a quasi whiskey when you think of it. Mm. How Vegemite is like yeast extract. Yeah. Um, have you distilled Vegemite? Haven't distilled Vegemite. Thinking about putting a cheese mite scroll into the, the still, see how that goes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I, I, I'm totally into it. Have you heard of an yeah. infinite bottle? Basically, choose a spirit and whenever you open a, a new yes. bottle of it, you pour yes. a shot into another this bottle. This is to how make I finish every spirit. whiskey bottle. You Every end up with a unique blend. I have a gin one, a tequila one, and a fortified one. Maybe that's actually like I haven't heard of that. I haven't heard of that. I think that's a remarkable in idea. Is it an in-house in-house solera? So every every whiskey I finish, the last ten shot bottles. goes into the infinite bottle. Yeah, and then you get the infinite bottle out, and you it just changes. And then the last shot of that goes into the next infinite yeah, bottle. Correct. It's amazing. How am I only learning these things? The things I learn on this show. This isn't even for your enjoyment. This is for my education. Um, you said a new panic buy trend, shapes biscuits. I like to think so. Uh, don't advertise toilet paper. Uh, only on my last shop did I see one, uh, see any, any one shelves. Influencer struggle is real. Um, nacho cheese, Adam Carpenter. Uh, nacho cups. cheese and navy strength, what a combo. Well, we are going to be testing out some uh, stuff anyway. Um, 15 minutes into it, we've got to get onto some blind tasting. We you do. were kind enough to bring Couple of bottles. Couple of every, bottles. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, and we're going to be doing a little departure from gin. Yes, that's um, fine. Let's do that. Um, we I have go? blind tasted gin before. So uh, Jess Super Sleuth Clayfield brought amazing gin from Scotland. I reckon um, the problem is you'd pick ours if I brought mine. 
I wouldn't have picked that. That's that's fantastic though. Yeah, thank that's you. fantastic. I would have picked it as a very high quality gin. Oh, uh, <laughs> excellent. All right. So I don't know which All is right. which either. All right, so we've got, we're going to do two because you said these these come from the same producer. Is that correct? Same producer. Yep. Um, and look, I, to be, I was thinking Alpha Box and Dice before I came, and then Sammy was on last night, so that changed my opinion of what to bring. Um, so yeah, I love this style of wine. Okay. Um, I've only tried one of the, the two. The two. Okay. So we're gonna get we're gonna get a couple of glasses because if it's from the same producer and, and uh, it's gonna keep things nice and interesting. Um, am I allowed to pour these or would you like to? All right. Thank you very much. Are they, are they are they are they pre 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 open? That's great. Are we gonna do side by side? Yeah. I reckon I reckon we'll go. Yeah. One two and one two. Um, I'm very much excited for this. I'm very much excited for this. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. So from the colour, okay. what, what year is it? <laughs> well, I mean, no, from the colour, oh, like what, yeah, it's both a variety in the year, oh, like, okay. you know, that they're the two sort of uh, dynamics. Yeah, that's also very interesting. Um, yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, and that Laura's like, mm, let's have a look. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put the comments down. Um, Laura and Noah are gonna let you know what's what's up. Um, just so I do not know what's up. So keep them left and right cool. there. Left and right. Uh, Wesley. Cheers. Um, all right. Do you need? Which do we need? Cocky. Um, we're gonna go left first. Right yeah. first. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Right. Ooh. Yeah. Right. Mm. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be very fun. All right. Do, do we need Corky? Corky McCork face. Um, if the crowd doesn't see Corky McCork face, okay, we'll, we'll get rid of some gin. No, we'll, we'll, no, we I know, I know, I know we don't gin. like barrel aged gin, like so a, I'll move like, that aside. Though. It's like a gin library. We can sort of it pull is, it in it and is. out. We can. Uh, because mm. I, I want to try, there's another gin here that I want to try. A gin, a gin style that we don't dabble in. Uh -huh. um, I'm, I'm interested to see. Because I think you gave me like a sampling of it. I haven't just tried the finished product. Okay. I'm very excited. Um, Alright, so on the, on the left. You're going left? Yeah, right. left. Okay. Is there questions that so you, Laura will ask? Oh. Or do you want me to ask? No, you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, have we got left and right sorted out there? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Left is the Okay, cool. I think so. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Far out, dude. These are good. These are real good. I'm into this in a big way. Oh, are you mixing up? Is that what we're gonna do? So no, on. just jump, jumping back. I mean, if I'm given another, it's like another parameter. It's yeah. another criteria. Oh, okay. I can sort of like jump in between the two. Yeah. That's actually quite. Um, that second one's amazing as well. Really interesting. Um, I'm gonna go New World. Far out. This is some kind of crazy Grenache style yes. stuff. It's fantastic. So I, I, Grenache is one of my favourite grapes. We're not even at the brought oh. you, you just gave it up! <laughs> no, I only said it was but, the first one I never grapes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so I yeah. think it's Grenache. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. Cool. okay. Fine. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, uh, uh, like, country, Australia. Maybe. I think so. Okay. Which state? I think it. I Tassie. Think, Grenache from Tassie. Uh, I think it's. I think it's the the great South Australian Grenache. This is this is amazing. This is actually a really great example of this style because I think I know where where, where it comes from, and I think that the execution on this is like world class. Because um, usually Grenache is Grenache is really from like a winemaking perspective, it's so tempting to extract the crap out of it. Yeah. And you can have something that is inky and black. And you know, completely like opaque. But the, this is this is guys like this is Pinot esque, and we haven't used the black glasses uh, here because we've got two. Um, well, we've got two uh, plus um, you know, gin guy, wine guy. Um, you know, it'll be easy on him. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we have other wines coming. We're going to go black glass. The next one we'll do black glass. Um, that is sick. That is sick. Um, I think it's South Australian. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what are my sub regions then? I don't think it's hills. 
It could it could be Barossa. It could well be. Um, you know, it's the second one. I'm glad you brought the second one. If you only show me the first wine, the second one has actually changed my answer to Barossa. Barossa? Yeah. Oh, okay. The second one has because uh, I think the second one is a Mataro. Um, and I don't see a lot of uh, McLaren Vale Mataro very often uh, made in this style. I think this is like a really cool uh, producer doing something really fun in the, in the Barossa. Incorrect. Incorrect. Vale. Yeah, I should just go on my gut. Not in my head. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking a McLaren Vale producer. Doing some decent elevage here as well. Like this is uh, this is classic. I'm mixing. It's beautiful. Both this of them. is classic. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, Noel's into it. Laura's into it. I love this producer too. Yeah. 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 Is it single variety or is it multiple varieties? The, the wine. Well, I think the first one's a single plate. Left hand is a single and the right hand's a double. Single and double. Incorrect. No. Are they both They're double? They're both blends. They're both blends. Wow. Okay. Um, so we're in the Claraval. Both blends. You want... Yeah. yeah give us we're four. Playing, or is that? Give us four, four options for what varieties for both. Oh. Yeah. 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 And oh, for both. Yeah, for both. As oh, I guess both. one. One. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what? No. Yeah. There's, there's one more. There's which is you kind of you can't. You, yeah, but you've kind of covered it with Shiraz. Oh, Mataro. No, Mataro no. Mavedra. Shiraz. Shiraz and Sierra. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So the same. I think um, I think that's really cool. This this second one, I'm like really in love with. It's gamey, it's meaty, it's Graciano Tempranillo. No, no. I think I, it's there's 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 some Mataro-y kind of crazy. Is it Mataro in the second one? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, whereas I think that's more like a G, G, Granacera. Other way around, that's the Grenache Mataro. Like that's a G, straight up GSM. And G. Yeah, right. That's really fun. Two Grenache dominant blends. Yeah. That's a really interesting move for any produce, single producer to go Grenache dominant on both. But so they, what, they, they, what? They, they hero Grenache as a, as a, yeah. as a variety as well. Top tier. Top, yeah. Top tier Grenache. Panel. <laughs> that's where I jump to. That's that's who I. Uh, I mean, the top. Okay, top tier Grenache. Um, oh fuck you! Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, same winemaker, but is the um, Graciano from like a, a completely different? Oh, I don't know. Not sure. Is it? Um, uh, Old mate, um, with the the really cool mosaic label. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's um, it's it's Samuel's Gorge. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. That's, That's very. Awesome. These wines look really good. They're so. These good. these are really seductive. Far. Oh. Well, he's this is the really cool thing about Samuel's Gorge. Like. Much like Alpha Box and Dice, and I think that's something with like um, a really sort of amazing producers and producers. To be frank, um, producers that can afford to do this, yeah. Because not every producer can actually afford to do this, and we're only now uh, eight years in, nine years in, um, starting to be able to go. Oh, we're going to put this this barrel down and do what we call longer elevage, longer maturation, okay. and yep. that costs a lot of money. Yeah, you know, because you make you pay for the grapes and everything's just sitting there. And you're like, come on, man, like let's let's sell the bloody wine. Um, Whereas I think um, uh, guys, guys behind like Samuel's Gorge, they do an amazing job with um, with Elevage. These are pretty well Elevage wines. Yeah. So yeah, you're stalling. Oh, no, no, I'm stalling. No, no. So, so that's why I'm sort of like, I don't. I, I think it's not definitely not 19. I don't think it's 18 actually. I think it could be the 17 or 16. I'm going to be got, uh, leaning more towards 16 for both of these. 17. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, they're amazing. Oh, these are. I haven't tried these at all. These are new ones. <gasps> These are so cool. I haven't tried, uh, I haven't, these are completely brand spankers. Yeah. Jeez, you could kill someone yeah, with the yeah, weight of this you, bottle though. Yeah, you, you were. Oh. Oh, 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 contentious. 
Oh, all right, no, no, which no, one, no, which, no, one, no, which one, one, no, which one, no, which one, just, which one was the Mataro one? So the GM. Now. Oh. now we can match, match the colour. <laughs> no, no, I'll just match the smell. That's, that's the second one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you had them backwards. So the, 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 the Mataro Syrah. Oh no, 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 no. Laura nailed it. Yeah, Disregard. Yeah, Don't worry about me. I've lost it. I've Too much Negroni. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so, so, um, so Syrah's... These are amazing. Syrah is, if I'm wrong, right. It's Syrah's grape, correct? But picked at a different time? Or is it, how's it work? So, just a synonym for the same grape. Okay. So it's synonym, uh, but in Australia it's come to, because Australia made such an amazing um, name for itself doing Shiraz. Yep. And in, in, in a very particular style, which was big, rich, heavy, extracted, almost like lactone rich, like milk. It was just so dense and so powerful and hard hitting. Yeah. And so now we associate that with Shiraz. To be able to differentiate ourselves as winemakers, quite often winemakers will use the term Syrah. Yeah. Um, uh, to, to give a nod to the old world style. Like, typically you won't find old world styles that are made in the Shiraz like richness. So instead um, of using Matari, there is. Oh, these are like Pinot. Yeah. yeah. These are like Pinot. Uh, guys, you've got to have a look at this. Um, so this is um, uh, Samuel's Gorge. Oh man, the labeling on this is so dope. That, that's really, really cool. So their Grenache is probably my favorite wine to drink on a regular basis. Yeah. Um, and I thought, oh, he's going to pick that too easily. So let's uh, mix it up and... Uh, and by the way, Steve123 says, go Tigers. <laughs> go Tigers! <laughs> <laughs> gotta love Steve. He is a Richmond supporter from way back. So I gotta got ask though, because like it's Lobethal Tigers. It is Lobethal. Lobethal's about eight minutes this way. Like we're in the middle of, you know, the hills. We're in the middle of nowhere. Um, so like, how is, what, what's your connection to Lobethal? Lobethal, so I grew up in Chunga, went to Cornerstone in the hills and my mates were playing footy at Loby and uh, they, they dragged me over to play some, some footy over there. So, um, love Hills footy, spewing that we're not able to meet at the moment, but won't be long until we're able to kick the, the leather together. Um, and yeah, I guess just thought I'd shout, shout out to the Lobie boys. G'day guys, uh, where, where that? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you guys haven't been able to play as well? No, I've stopped playing, I'm too old and fat now. But um, yeah. That, well, that was only like a year ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago now, so two years. But um, yeah, so I've been able to take little Harvey out to, to Auskick. Um, so that's been a bit of fun as the, 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 the player coach. Get him out there. Come on. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> so, In between when he's making cocktails. Yeah, yeah, stuff, it's right? co yeah he's got to get, make the cocktail first. Yeah. Um, all right, so we've got, we're, we're half an hour in. We're, I'm keeping on time because I know there's another one to try and I want to try this other thing. So um, do you reckon we can grab some glass? Oh, we, oh, we've got, oh no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'll, I'll make a glass. We can, we have, what? My gin glass disappeared. Oh, there no. it is, it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's just so, um, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, a yeah, bit of a new glass. Thank yeah. you, Noah. The, um, um, the, the macadamia would probably coat the sides of those last ones. Cool. So we do have two barrel aged, um, but I'll show the Shiraz barrels instead of the musket barrel. Musket barrels. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then we can do both. We can okay. do both. We can, we can do like a, a schnifter. Schnifter. Right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm keen because like, right. muskets are really interesting. Sort of like, I want to know the story of the barrel on this yeah. one. Yeah, all right. So the story of the, the Shiraz barrel, uh, American oak, bourbon first, um, so hit first. Uh, then then spend some time in the Brossa Valley Shiraz. Uh, then we get hold of it and we use the original recipe, um, whacked in at 62% alcohol. So, and that was the, so this one, yeah, yeah, the original OG, 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 OG um, at 62% alcohol. Uh, yeah. and, Fucking sick. And interesting, because I talk to the whiskey guys and they say like when you put stuff into barrels year on year, you, you add alcohol to your, to your, your whiskey barrel. But um, here you don't. Yeah, so we lost 2% like that, so... Yeah, but did, was that just soaking into the wood? I think you so. Reckon? Yeah, it wasn't my consumption, it was... It was, it was <laughs> it's like, I swear, I swear <laughs> to God, it's not... <laughs> yeah, so, um, look, we, we get hold of these barrels, we re them down to 100 litres, char them back to life, um, and throw our gin in there for 6 to 12 months, um, and depending on, on where it sits, and it Far com out. comes out at 60% alcohol. Um, that so, does not taste the way it, it smells. No, so because it smells like it smells like bourbon. Yeah, there's does. like a like not not straight up bourbon. Like you can see the gin sort of essence to it, but the coolest thing is the tannin yeah. extract on this. Yeah, that is awesome. I've yeah. never actually seen because um, we've had 
many chats at length about my disdain for barrel aged uh, gins. He, he's made a navy, it. so look out people. <laughs> <laughs> we might actually do barrel. I also was actually quite against navy, navy strength gin until we made a navy. Um, need to find, it, took us, it took us years and years and years to come yeah. around with a really good reason to make a navy. Yeah. Um, but this I really like because quite often oak is such a, an all encompassing flavour yeah. that it, it coats the gin. This is really cool because and we've talked, spoken about in a couple of uh, episodes about um, tannin and how tannin is this amazing third dimension. Actual, you can feel it. Yeah. There's a third dimension to this particular gin that actually is, is it gives it a depth, not, not a heaviness, yeah. but it just gives it a, yeah, I don't know, a tangible sensation. Um, that's really cool. But like all over proofs, and you talked about it before, having that extra oil content in there, so it pushes up the vanilla that's in the recipe, and um, certainly some Whoa. of the, the, the... I wouldn't even pick it as 60%. Yeah. And the spice wow. element that comes through, so you still get that peppery note from a Shiraz. If you guys want to... Yeah, that. yeah, seriously, that's actually, that's pretty cool. Oh, right, let's have a look at the musket in comparison, because musket is obviously a fortified, a yeah. fortified style, and fortified musket barrel. So, so where'd you pick this up? Uh, it's a French oak, um, Clear Valley. It's a uh, 200 litre barrel. Is that right? 200 litre? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 200 litre. Um, so larger, it got aged for nearly 12 months, um, and it was a one-off release. So yeah, we um, had a bit of fun with this one. Um, went into the barrel for a, again around that 60%, but we, we've diluted it down to 43.4. Okay. Um, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's just a, it's dainty and pretty and fun. A, a summer, a, more of a summer um, barrel-aged gin, I guess. So the, what was the base again for that? The original again. Wow. The original soda. It's really sort of drawn out a lot of those sort of orange oils, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it has. Um, and I think that's the, the diversibility about the, the original recipe. It, different ABVs, it's pulling different potatoes. You're welcome. That's all right. Thank you. <laughs> I, I've got <laughs> no, 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 it. That, that is, yeah. Of the two, I actually, um, I, I really like the aroma of that. I think that's like just so, yeah. so, it's like summertime is an amazing thing. That, that in any sort of like highball, or yeah. a spritz style yeah, thing is just yeah, fantastic, spritz, yeah, man. Yeah. Um, that is so cool. Absolutely. Um, Adam Calder, hey Noah, whip up a Shiraz barrel aged old fashioned, knock Brendan's socks off. It's a new fashion, Adam. Come on, keep up. <laughs> <laughs> um, way too odd. So, uh, so, you should get Justin from Samuel's Gorge on the show. He's a mad trooper in a super fun way. I totally agree. Uh, yeah. Justin and I have, have uh, had many drinks before, um, and we have determined that we are both uh, mad troopers in very fun ways. Um, <laughs> Jimmy B, Megan and I are drinking Slate Farm 2019, fucking spectacular. Like a confusing, sexy RZA with a personality disorder. Yes, and probably coupled with a little bit of ADHD. Um, I, I, I assure you of that. Um, and Kerry Carter, have a few Samuels Gorge in the cellar. Thanks, Mum. Uh, Scotty, is the camera plugged into power? No, it is not. Uh, we are waiting on a dummy battery to be able to do so every, every, because it cuts out before an hour. You pay a squillion dollars for like state-of-the-art technology and they it's can't... because it's a, a zoom lens, so you only get 40 minutes on the zoom chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Very in-joke. That's a really good one. Um, Alright, so... Oh. It's, it's oh. a Corona... Oh. Oh. Is Terry, if Terry's still on, that was a Corona joke. Alright, no, Terry, Corona's the... <laughs> You're welcome, Terry. <laughs> um, uh, mate. We've got two, two little things tonight. Here's right. junk food, we do have wine food. night. Um, but I think we've got a couple of wines open. We should get another one opened. Yep. Thank you so much for bringing these. These are amazing. My pleasure. Um, but you don't get off that lightly. On the back wall is a myriad oh, of, there is. of different wrapped up bottles. I don't know what they are. Yep. And I'm very, and the team will attest this, I'm very sort of anally retentive about ensuring that I do not actually know it. Even though a shipment from a very amazing importer rocked up today. Ooh. And... Uh, and I was very tempted. Noah was amazing. Grabbed boxes out of us. Are we coloured wrapping Noah? Or what are we? What? Uh, like, any, any, any? Anything. Uh, any which way. Any which way. Alright. Uh, Fuck, that is opening up even more. Have you, you got a smell? I have, I have actually yeah. particularly yeah. taken this Yeah, smell that. That's amazing. That is so cool. Yeah. Sorry for the day. I'm smoking pork tenderloins wrapped in bacon. <laughs> I like it when we wrap our pig in pig. <laughs> that's, that's just too, that is just too good. Um, so pig I, blanket. There was what? What did we have the other day? That was um, it was it was duck neck sausage. 
Yum. Um, yeah, no, it sounds, sounds fantastic and yum. But but it was the, when um, the, the the gentleman that actually served it to us dropped down me and, and he just had just one of those amazing sort of uh, wait staff that sort of sat down and it's like, how amazing is it? You know that you're at the top of the, the pecking order of the human race when 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 you feel that you need to consume duck neck sausage <laughs> <laughs> above all the other bits of duck. Uh, wait staff, you were actually out of the venue eating. No, this was a very long time ago. Oh, I just, I'm just the other day. The other okay. day. The right. other, every, the other day, I referenced the other days. Honestly, seriously, I was like, hey man, last Friday, we had BK on. And Noah was like, that was actually two weeks ago, bro. <laughs> I was like, hey, all of this. It's day, when you rocked up, I was like, is it day 40 something? Uh, day 43? Day 43. Um, all right, let's 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 do this. Oh, Laura's recording it, so I'll put, oh, I'm gonna put the, the comments down, do not know. Uh, I did see Terry Rawson, you're gonna post a pic, I wanna see that pic. Um, oh, and a reminder to everyone that's chiming in right now, we are, just, just in case you are not aware, we are not gonna be doing a Sunday show. So Justin in particular, if you're watching, don't hit the refresh button on Sunday, please. Like there, there, there. Carters are having special cuddles. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna be, we're gonna be taking a bit of a day off. Um, uh, the first in 40 something days. Um, uh, Laura is currently booked in. 45th day, 45th day, yeah. Is that the 40? Yes, yes, yes. yes. but Laura's gonna be with us tomorrow night. Uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, business. Business. Yes, we're gonna be talking about, about the, the <laughs> we're gonna be talking about business of wine uh, and, and the, the trials, tribulations, and awesome shit. Uh, that's involved uh, in the wine industry, uh, you know, when, when you start, start a business. And actually, talk to us as well about, because you, you didn't just, I mean, yeah, you came to us, we were like, we're gonna make yeah. gin, but like, you come from like quite an amazing sort of, sort of quite a diverse background, don't you? A little bit of a diverse background. So a lot of food and, and, and franchising and, and things like that along the way. Um, so I had the opportunity to work with the brands like Boost Juice, the Evil yep. Golden Arches, um, and currently still working with, uh, with, with Baker's Delight, so um, we're enjoying and, and, and do you use like a lot of those um, <laughs> like skills? I guess, know, across... I, oh look, business skills are transferable and that's what's yep. great is that um, running a business, I guess you need to make sure that you control your costs and you, you make a profit and all those sorts of things, but you have fun and um, I guess those learnings um, are, are what enable you to be able to create a sustainable business and, and, mm. and um, do what we do. and. Uh, I've been lucky enough that we've been able to grow our business organically from a prohibition point of view. So having um, prohibition start off as it's a... It's hard with the amount of like high ABV products you have and the amount of excise tax everyone pays. <laughs> they do pay a little it's bit actually, of excise it's on It's very there. impressive. It is. And the other very impressive thing is of course you were in the top 40 under 40 last year. Right? <laughs> oh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, good because I just entered my under 40s. Oh, uh, well done. Well, <laughs> well, once you're a 40 under 40, you're a 40 under 40 for life. <laughs> <laughs> So the good thing, even could, if you are 40? Correct. Wait, are you 40 now? No, I'm, I'm 38, so I, I, okay. I, I could, I could re-enter, do a Sasha and re-enter, <laughs> but I won't, but I won't. Um, <laughs> well done. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so for those that don't know, Sasha from uh, Adelaide Hills Distillery, he's, uh, he's won it twice. Um, mate, you only need to win it once. Uh, so, but the great thing about those is that you, you, you get to um, connect with people outside of your industry and talk to those um, yeah. Innovators. You don't live in the bubble. You don't live in the bubble, and that's, I guess, the challenge of working in a franchise system is that it's a bubble. Whereas, joining and creating um, Prohibition with Adam has enabled us to go out to the community and talk to people I would have never met or talked to mm. before, and industry that I wouldn't have understood, and um, it just opens your world, and it's amazing. Like I so love and it. And you and Adam stuff. are just a, a, a dynamo sort of duo. It's incredible. I remember you guys rocked up the first time, and it was just like you were so curious about everything, and it was it was it was. You rarely see, I think, and we see this in, uh, you know, we had Shane Entridge from Proof on and Nikki, and, yeah, love um, you know, BK. That there is a, a bit of a common thread amongst people that are um, pretty successful in the industry, and it seems to be curiosity, a constant curiosity to constantly learn and, and figure things out. Are you curious about this wine, though? <laughs> I am curious about. So, the what wine. does this taste like after a couple of Negronis and some Forex Gold, yeah, um, and some Samuel's Gorge. and some Samuel's Gorge, and some Musket Barrel stuff? Yes, we've, we've had quite the Friday afternoon. I yeah. hope you guys have well, as well. Well, it is Friday evening, so we can I mean, get on. Well, I mean, it's it's still. Are we still in airport rules, right now? Like with everything that's going on right now, it's sort of like it's sort of like the time difference between like Christmas and New Year's, and you're like, you know, what even hour is it? Yes, we are. You know, okay, we cool. are. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. Yeah, Fantastic. Right. It's last definitely. Call, last call before boy. Last call before boy. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Noah. Final call. Brendan Carter, the plane is departing. <laughs> 
All right, let's let's have a look. This is actually, this is fun. Cool, cool. All right, little natty boy, little mm. nat natty wine. This is that that means a for for the uninitiated a no ads wine. So this is a, a real sort of like I feel I feel like this is a, a an art, an artisan, someone someone on the smaller end of the, the spectrum, someone on the scale. Single variety. I have no idea that. Feels... And I think that's one of the hardest things about these wines because I think they speak so much about their winemaking, as arbitrarily as as um, you know Jacob's Creek Chardonnay might speak overtly about its winemaking. Mm. Um, this speaks about its winemaking. It actually hides the variety, I think, um, or the blend of varieties. Um, old world or new world. And we're operating on a team on this. No, if you're a wine professional, we're operating against each other. I'd say new world. You say new world because like like the cool natty guys, yeah. I, I agree with you. Yeah. I think this is new world. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Tick. Tick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dignity tick. Uh, so, <laughs> where, where, where are we going for um, uh, in, in countries? There are options here. Chile, Australia. I'm just gonna stay straight away, Chile. Okay, yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what up? <laughs> Do you know, I reckon I actually think I know the variety too. Amazing. Feels like a Cabernet Merlot. I was gonna say Merlot straight away. Yeah, that's why it's like herbaceous. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, amazingly yeah. herbaceous. Yeah. Um, but that's that's a really cool, uh, really really cool expression. Um, uh, Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what I need. Uh, <laughs> I'm out. But then I think no. I think the next uh, the next one's gonna be tough for me. Estate. Yeah. Yeah. No, Victoria, WA, Australia. Yeah. I'm. I think it's Victorian. Oh. I'm gonna take a stab at Victorian. I know it's a bit of it's a bit of a punt. But I just, there's something about the acid line. Um, it's earlier picked Merlot, it's quite herbaceous. It could be a Cabernet style no, I've got thing. No idea. I'm just or, a, or a, maybe a, ho a whole bunchy <laughs> something or other, but it's stemmy, it's green. Um, uh, but the acid line on it plays the fruit weight. It's like an early pick something. And, and we saw this actually last night with a Barac Baracchio. Um, and Laura actually pointed out last night something really amazing once we turn the camera off. It's like, isn't it amazing how we have um, all called, we, we both, I was there with Sam Piquetta, of course, and we both called it as Old World. We didn't actually think that that wine came from South Australia, it was a Sangiovese. It was just ama like a very amazing uh, observation there. Um, anyway, digressing. I'm going Victoria. I'm going to WA. Oh, it's Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We'll be in the middle. You're really yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. We're both, we're both all right. All right, we're, we're still in SA. SA <laughs> is just, People that are, because what we're doing is we're going out to people that are actually going, assemble us a dozen, yep. send us a, stop sending us South Australian wine, we want to see diverse spectrum. Did, did I read right though, is, is do we produce over 50% yeah. of Australia's consumption? Yeah, and, and like over 50% of that comes from the Riverland. Yeah, right. Yeah, and so it's like, like yeah, it's it, uh, something like, something stupid, like, no, I think it's like 70% of South Australian wine comes from the Riverland and that represents almost 50% of and that's Riverland, not Riverina, not Murray Darling. Wow. That is like on the South Australian side of the border. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. We're the wine state. Yeah, We're the wine state. Absolutely. Maybe that's why we got so much there. It's pretty cool that there's this level of diversity though. We're in Australian wine and South Australian wine. Okay, so we're SA. What are you talking about in sub-regions? Uh, the same three. B, V, M, V, A, H. Okay. Be there. Yeah. I'm going Adelaide Hills. No, no it's Barossa Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Again! <laughs> it's McLaren Vale! We're just trying to knock them out, Laura. That's, it. <laughs> that's not what we're We're okay. by file elimination. <laughs> so, that, that's so, sorry? Good it's a good teammate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, it takes two of us to stuff this one up. <laughs> so, variety. Variety. Oh, oh, man. Okay. Okay, we're in Vale. I don't yeah, think it's, I, don't, I think it's, I think it's a uh, STEMI grash. I think it's like, yeah, if that's, I'm just gonna go with the numbers. I'm gonna go, there's a, there's a whole bunch of component of Grenache here. Um, oh, it's a blend? No, no, it's single variety. Single variety. Oh, it, feels, it feels like Pinot. Like it feels like a, mer like herbaceous, either like whole bunch Pinot, whole bunch Grenache, whole bunch, not, not, not whole bunch Merlot. Um, well, I thought Merlot to start with, but. um Is it Grenache? Temperate.
I'm staying with Merlot. <laughs> I'm staying with Merlot. Even that though. would be the world's most atypical Shiraz, to be honest. Be the world's most atypical. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, that's tough. It's tough. It doesn't look. It, honestly, it doesn't taste like Shiraz. It tastes like um, it tastes like a Merlot or a whole bunch of Grenache. I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna swing. I'm gonna go a whole bunch of Grenache. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, 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 we, we did it! We yeah. failed together! <laughs> Three in a row! Three in a row! This is, this is real. Uh, it's, hey, it's, it's, most importantly though, is it yummy wine? I think it's yummy, but I like sour beers. I like. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, Noah's like. Noah's like, yeah, yeah, no. No, no, yeah, but the Camwell wines thing made me sort of like. Yeah. That was, that was a revelation. It's hard, it's hard to go from Senior's Gorge down. Yeah. To yeah. whatever we're drinking, wow. so without being offensive. Wow, so both of these, yeah, like, so, you know, you, they, they are like two, two, like, so, such a dichotomy between the two of these. Yeah. Like, styles of wine. Let's have a look at uh, what this looks like. Ooh, look at that. The black glasses are really kind of disorienting. They are. Um, all right, what, what's the producer here? Because I have, this is so far left field, I do not know. Little is this a little things divine? Formerly known, uh, formerly known as, as uh, now a scintilla. Uh, scintilla, yeah, wow, super natty. Yeah, super natty. Yeah. Now trading a scintilla. Zero, yeah, cool. Zero sulfur, organic. And organic. Twenty-five percent more bunch. Okay, oh, well, definitely. Which is not, like, for, it's not a crazy amount, but no, I mean, but when you're picking it at eleven point eight percent alcohol, it's like super light. That is um like cool wine. I like the fact that um, there's like a bit of dirt underneath the label. Oh, there. absolutely. There's like a. Yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of a. Looks like a boot. It's craft. It's, it's craft. craft. Um, that's a. Uh, that's that's pretty cool. So this is Scintilla. You can see the little little dot I was referring to just uh, just a moment ago. Um, but uh, very cool. Very cool. Um, like like really lean, bright, almost like Pinot. Like almost like a. a the fact that it actually looks that way. What was the vintage on it? 2018. Yeah. Okay. That's impressive. 2018. So it's it's had a full year in, in, in bottle probably with no sulfur, no protection whatsoever. It's not really acetic. Mm -hmm. um, but don't, that, and these are these these two wines have been crafted with two very different methodologies. Oh, absolutely. Very different. That 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 is that is um, what I would term craft. Yep. And that's what I would term natural. Okay. And that is the, the difference. And I think this is this is the term that needs to. Uh, but everyone's talking about, oh, everyone needs to talk about like a definition for what, what means natural and what is not natural and stuff like that. I actually think this needs a better definition. Yep. I think craft wine, you know, we talk about craft beer, we talk about craft spirits. Yep. When was the last time you ever heard about people talking about craft, craft wine? wine. Yeah. And you have a look at producers like Mac Forbes and Spin FX. Um, Samuel's Gorge is well and truly within that realm where they don't subscribe so, um, so much to one particular dogma of making their wines. Wines are so freaking delicious. Wines are so good, and they are so expressive, and they they are almost everlasting as well. Like yep. you know, you want to see that in ten years oh, as well. It'd be amazing. And it's yeah, absolutely amazing. Will that will this last ten years? I'm not, not sure. too sure. Um, but is it thrilling drinking? Absolutely. Uh, it's it's delicious drinking. Uh, but it's just a different type of drinking. Um, that that you'd have with a myriad of different uh, uh, styles of, of, of food. Whereas this here, like like you can have you can have a little a lot of fun with a lot of um, sort of either like high acid or vinegar laden stuff or which is actually really hard really hard to match with wines like this yeah that's where these wines really kick in um so here we go oh oh wow so uh terry's actually tried this one it had a bottle of that last night that's so cool um Head just, of the game, mate. i'm sorry justin but I'm, I'm giving you forewarning just about sunday only because i know actually to be honest i do not know how you do what you do you have the dark arts of being first 16 days in a row? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Seriously. <laughs> it's, it's pretty impressive. That is impressive. It's pretty, and we can't even best you internally. Uh, so whatever you're doing, I think it could be a bot, but maybe turn the bot off. Uh, and if you indeed are the bot, um, you need to turn off. You need a break. Yep. Um, but we will be there in some way, shape or form, I promise. Um, Jekyll, we uh, just finished seven weeks working from home. Keep, keep hitting snooze and run late with a five meter, com five meter commute to work. Obviously, when you're working for him, that is actually PJ pretty, is straight in. It's a pretty good thing. Um, <laughs> that traffic. <laughs> I, th I feel like it's slowly becoming the new model. Nora in the background necking it. 
which necking which necking which particular wine? Necking what? Necking what? This, driving. Is, this is this is Kez. Yeah, he's got to drive, man. He's responsible. Uh, I think so. They're getting used to the new routine. Um, had a really earthy nose. Uh, the little scintilla here. Totes agree that it'll be great to see some non-SA wines and more non-Oz as well. We are, it is happening. It is happening, Christina. Um, we haven't had a US, Argentine or Chilean on the show yet, uh, but we have, have had South African and we have had Indian. Uh, yeah. How was, yeah. The, how was the Indian? We, it, was, it was wacko. Like, we, there was no way that we were gonna pick it like ever. And it was Nora and I as well. And it's like, yes, let's do this. That was, it was so fun. It was the same, it was like a Sauvignon Blanc, was it? It was a 2013 Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> and it was just- it But you'll never so forget difficult. it, right? Oh. You'll never forget it. That moment. Oh, no, I won't. I yeah. definitely won't forget that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First Indian wine? Maybe one I day, know. one day in the future, you're like, this reminds me of that day when? And then you're going to be like, it's a 2013 Indian <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. And you're going to be in front of a crowd of people, and people are like, oh my god, the guy's a freak. <laughs> we're not, we're Actually, it's else. going to happen. 2017 Mother of a Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it, it is happening, it is happening. Bear with us. Um, to be honest, we didn't actually think that you guys would be, uh, and, and it's not for lack of faith, we didn't actually think this would amount to much, but 43 days later, we're obviously seeing, and obviously from my, my 30th birthday, we're, we're seeing that we're, we're built to one community. You, you might have noticed there's probably a few little red, more red wrapped up bottles on the background here. It's because we are waiting. Uh, and for people that have actually ordered from us, firstly, it means the absolute world uh, to us in terms of level support. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is, Firstly, also, well, I should say, secondly, um, I am very sorry if OzPost has dropped the ball in getting packaged to you because OzPost, yeah. <laughs> I feel your pain, I feel your pain. Oh. OzPost is, 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 is really struggling, to be honest, and it's, I don't want to blame OzPost to say they dropped the ball. I don't think they've dropped the ball. I think they're just really struggling with the sheer quantity Absolutely. of, of, of online ordering. It's uh, clicking click, right? And there is now, there is now, yes, there is yes. click and collect uh, up here for Applewood and we're going to be introducing that for, for Unico, for at least our South Australian friends. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are interstate, but um, that also means it affects us when we're trying to get wines for the blind tasting stuff. Uh, and, and that means it means 18 days to come to South Australia. Um, so yeah, okay, you know, we're, we're working on it, but it's happening. Uh, wife, you didn't like it, but I did. Uh, Terry, that's because you you have the both the palate uh, and, and the stomach of a champion, uh, and it, feel, it feels like I'm really like we're 45 days. I I, I I believe we actually do have someone for our 50th day, but I I want you on, Terry. I want you on. You got to show me how to shotgun a beer. Never shotgun a beer before. Ah. Oh. And you need Jez Spencer here. Get him here. 14 days. <laughs> yeah, 14, 14 days in a row. Quarantine. <laughs> we could do this. Uh, Scintilla, amazeballs. Sean Lau, uh, thank you so much for chiming in. Last year we did a wine dinner around the rugby championship. I think that's a fantastic idea. We have food from each of the four countries and wine from each of them as well. So fun. That is, how cool is that? That sounds awesome. How cool is that? I want. I mean, that's the other thing. It's like, what sports happening? We could. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, okay. Cool. Uh, okay, Japanese wine, uh, very cool, absolutely. Mate, you need the Ricotera delivery. Yes, Ashley, we need the Ricotera delivery. Uh, please, yeah, come by Camareca. Like twice a day would be fantastic. I was supposed to doing seven, seven day, employ more than uh, more people, you till December 2020. Use your vowels, Kerry, um, uh, is all I'm gonna say. Thanks, mum, love you. Um, <laughs> No, no, seriously, they're doing, um, uh, they're doing seven, seven days, days a week. Yeah, wow. They're doing, no, seriously, we had a whole bunch of customers that, that received packages on Sunday. Wow. I'm like, yeah, and hopefully, that's a permanent thing. Like, why, why does OzPost stop on Saturday, Sunday? You know, well, hospitality yeah, doesn't stop. That's it. Why should OzPost stop? No. I'm Maybe really... we should just go back to, you know, you know just saying, just saying. Um, we have five minutes. Five minutes. Time for, and oh, I, I, I do apologize for everyone because I've forgotten to blind tasting, and we have done two, so you get two. Uh, <laughs> this is, this is the, the least organized show. Uh, the most organized component of this show is actually Laura and Noah. Uh, I'm Thanks just going to say, like, we, we're where's, not, came we, where's came with the whole setup and, and food, okay? So, okay. And, and bread. And bread, and bread, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it is time uh, today, so I think every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the three days we believe that you guys need us the most, uh, Mondays, of course, Wednesday's hump day, Friday, because yes. until until uh, pubs, clubs, and everything else, wine bars open up, we're gonna be here for you every Friday. Um, but that does mean a little bit of junk food wine. Uh, now you've brought you've brought some junk food wine. Junk Sorry, no, not junk, junk food wine. Food. Junk food, junk well, food. I'm gonna say comfort food. 
Yeah, he's big on this comfort food thing, but I'm, I'm down on the junk food thing, but yeah, comfort food. We had some over there yeah. as well, so Noah's got some over there, but like, who doesn't like a good pizza or... I'm like, I'm so stoked because we're gonna start running out of, we are gonna start running out of junk food, prepackaged junk food. Thank you very much, Wes. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh. Hawaiian, oh, oh. pineapple on a pizza, should it be there? Oh, oh guys, pizza. you know, you know what we're talking about when you're, oh, look at that. That is just in high definition goodness. Yeah, yeah. so uh, I, I always, always fold my pizzas. Yeah, no, you should, Yeah, you should. Uh, but I mean, I mean, you are the, you are the, the expert in these things. <laughs> I would say I'm an so, expert. So, so that's, that's how you're meant to eat them. Okay, well, so. That way you don't lose any of the ingredients. Isn't it worth, nothing worse when you're watching all your beautiful ingredients fall off the top, whereas you can squeeze it and hold it. I think, uh, I think I agree with Wes, like, you know, I, I um, this is, this. <laughs> oh. Good. Turkey right. bread's better. We have a couple of wines on the table. And it happens to be quite convenient that the last couple of times that we've done this, in fact, pretty much almost every time, we happen to have a wine on the table that's actually worked really well. Um, I'm gonna chop you up with that. Yeah. I'm gonna move the Turkish bread and dipping it. I know it's, Bren doesn't deem it as junk food, but I certainly do. We had, a, we had a conversation before where we were like, that's a little bit too highbrow for this show. But it's not highbrow, that's the it's thing. Not. It's bread Just and... Just, you're, bread. A you're a classy person, man. You're a classy motherfucker. I do have the I'm, I'm into that. All right. Yeah. But I'm really into this too. Mm. So it's just a Baker's Delight little thing. Yeah, it is. You know, perfect for lunch boxes. For those <laughs> kids that are back at school. <laughs> When you love something, man, <laughs> let it go. That's it. <laughs> um, this is fantastic. I, I've missed this. I'm I am married to a celiac. Yeah, challenging, challenging. It is no, 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 no. Being married to Laura is one of the best things. But ever. no, I, thank you, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it is because like so there are so many glutinous things that are so oh, delicious, yeah. particularly pasta. Nowadays, pasta is actually like I'm I'm very much enjoying the range of gluten-free pastas, not not the sort of crappy cardboardy stuff. There's like 100% corn stuff, yep. egg stuff, it's fantastic. Okay, it's um, well, yeah, nice. Yeah, I do avoid the bread. Yeah, and I, and I understand. And, and having really... gluten in, in front of gluten free, it's not good or celiac. Celiac? Yeah, that's tough. JFK drink, what's J? Oh, junk food, uh, junk food W. Yeah, junk food one. Okay, yeah. sure, cool. sure Justin. I'll, I'll, I'll you that one. Comfort food certainly sounds better. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, I just bought that for my my BF's birthday. Oh, which which what the wine or the the pizza? <laughs> Both. <laughs> the wine. I'm sure the wine. I'm sure, sure it's the wine. I'm sure it's the wine. Okay. Yeah. Um, no pineapple. 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 I, I'm 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 I'm. See when I make a neither pizza, here nor there. I'm indifferent to pineapple. Pizza at home. No pineapple. I'm a beautiful uh, hamon and. <laughs> <laughs> We're all eating at Wes's after this. <laughs> so we've been we've been talking about how we're gonna organise a bit of like an interstate thing. Yeah. Don't really talk with my mouth full, but yeah, that's I'm okay. like going and going deep. Cover it. Um, and we're all gonna go out. Oh. Party. I think there's definitely a night at Hellbound. Definitely not at. You got it. We're gonna well, shout at Haynes and Co. Haynes and Co. Haynes and Co. The gym, the gym place in Adelaide. Absolutely. Admiral, salute you. Seriously, his name is Ashley Ratcliffe. Seriously, you can't stop this. I'm now tuning in at 5 p.m. and it's habit. It's like my weekday landline. Sure. God knows what happens when you decide to stop. There'll be a revolt. Love your work, <laughs> mate. Thank you. That's very, that's very endearing. Thank you so much. We'll find out what happens if the world will indeed end on Sunday. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 there will be changes, of course, because we hope, we hope that when all this is over, and there's been talk this week, hasn't there? Tenth of May. They've been taught this week that there's going to be some openings happening this this uh, this month, and we would hope that at 5 p.m. or 5:30, if you're on the east coast or whatever time it is on the west coast, um, you know, it's a, <laughs> come in Perth. <laughs> it's, it's Perth. Um, we would hope that you would actually be going out and supporting all the people that have supported yeah. us as well, yeah. um, getting out into those venues. So um, we have had discussions this week. Nor and I have been planning, masterminding. Uh, various things. So uh, we've been talking about what what might potentially change. I, we do really want to continue with this, and I think we will. Um, it's something we wanted to do for a while. COVID. I will drink Terry. Bear with me. Well, we said uh, has I'll, has I'll... sort of like 
you know, pushed a hand with this and we really wanted to uh, be able to bring this to you before COVID. But now after, we're definitely gonna be doing something. I know, I know there's two drinks. And so I've got two wines. Sorry, in terms of this, oh, uh, oh, uh, what do you reckon, now? Oh? I want some kind of like... Dolcetto? Yeah, something. Something oh, doughy. Something easy to drink. Low acid. What was the low acid one we had last night? It was like a... What was that little alpha box number? That wine. Carignan? That, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you want to talk about alpha box? Seriously, this wine. This is... Um, <laughs> that was the yep. I was going to bring. <laughs> That's all you're going to bring? Uh, the, he was going to bring this before, but we had Sammy on last night. And I, I am acutely aware that right now, uh, Henry is sitting in Melbourne, ready, ready to hit the live uh, stream. Damn, yes, um, 2018 Mistress. Um, do you want to pull, pull that out? Yeah, I'm just gonna say, Sorry. you want this, you want low acid, red wine, where's this going? Um, Sorry guys. <laughs> it's the oil, it's the this oil. Is, you should've just stayed with the pizza. Sure. Um, <laughs> um, low acid, medium bodied, uh, and you want mid palate weight, fleshy with a really sublime tannin. That's, um, that's, that's and a super mistress. And, uh, okay. <laughs> His words, not mine. Uh, on that, you need a moderator. Yeah, we do. We totally need a moderator. Um, guys, thank you so much uh, for chiming in this week. I hope you had a fantastic Friday. Henry's about to chime in with a whole bunch of really cool cocktail stuff. Uh, it's all uh, alchemy to me. I'm just a mere winemaker. In fact, I'm not even that. I'm a wine jester. Um, Adam, thank you. Sorry. Where's, Adam. Adam, oh, Adam, where's, Adam, Adam, where's, Adam, where's, Adam, where's, where's, it's in the grannies. I swear to God, it's in the grannies. It's fucking the grannies. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, mate. It's, Thank you, it's, it's really fantastic to have you on and to taste through all of your overproof uh, gins within an hour, along with it, like four <laughs> different wines. Uh, and pizza definitely makes it worth it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers, guys. Uh, see you tomorrow, 6 p.m., 5 p.m. I just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not gonna have, I'm not, I'm not gonna have Negroni's anymore. Uh, Thank you so much. Cheers, guys.